this is my second year doing self tape may last year i think i only did like one or two and it was just really poor planning i didn't even start um planning i was just like oh i'm just gonna do it if i don't get ready for self tape may right now it's just not gonna happen again this year because I am an actor who currently has a full-time nine-to-five job and I have a life. <laughs> I have a full-time nine-to-five job that doesn't have anything to do with acting. I'm currently not actively um, submitting for paid work due to a few things in my life, but I would love to do self-tape May, which is a self-tape challenge in May. You do 16 self-tapes and um, you can submit them if you want or if you just want to do them for yourself. It's created by Audrey from Audrey Helps Actors, the podcast. I think it's, it's a fun concept because um, humans, we have a hard time holding ourselves accountable for wanting to get better at certain things or having habits. One of the things Audrey says about self-tape May is to, to have like a purpose for it. You know, like you want to fall in love with acting again and you just want to have your fun with your self-tapes or you want to get like really good at a certain kind of self-tape. And I was thinking about what I wanted to do and one of the shows that I love and I know a lot of people love is Abbott Elementary. It would be pretty fun if I did all Abbott Elementary self-tapes. I want to um, finish all 16 self-tapes this year. But the purpose of my self-tape May this year, I want it to be to have fun and to practice my acting, you know, all of the different parts as far as like getting good again at memorizing and getting good again at like really diving yourself into the story and the text and all of that, you know, theater kid stuff. If nothing else, I have myself to enjoy acting with at home. I didn't realize I was going to be so emotional, but right now this like this acting, this self tape is the only acting that I have. It makes me really sad because I love it. Oh no. Maybe I should stop thinking about it so much and just do it so that I can relax because clearly finally talking about it out loud is making me really really sad. Okay, stop being um it's okay but to be emotional but i i'm trying to concentrate and instead of preparing for self-tape may i'm like processing all of this other pain let's stop like having a therapy session right now and really concentrate on getting ready for self-tape may what have i been doing i've tried to sit down to read the pilot of Al abbott elementary so many times and then i get distracted and i do other things so i'm almost to the point where i'm just going to print the entire pilot and then go from there i don't have like that many days to get my scenes together because i really really want to get my scenes together before may 1st because the rest is fun it's memorizing it's working on the scene it's recording it so i'm going to sit down right now and read it because I have time, so I'm gonna force myself to do it. I am not prepared. I'm feeling a tiny bit frustrated, like honestly not that as frustrated as I probably should be, that I don't already have all of my scenes. And now I'm not sure if I'm gonna do all of my scenes from Abbott Elementary. Um, I'm feeling a little bit indecisive, but also I wanted to just take a look at the self-tape May uh, scripts from castability because I know they give you 20 scripts but I'm wondering if they just give you 20 scripts in the form of the scenes they put out every week instead of like giving you a whole pdf of all of them um so I logged on to instagram on my laptop <clears throat> to try and find that and then I went on my app and I also couldn't find it I'm on instagram on my laptop and it looks like Audrey, she put what the thing is for self-tape May, if you don't know, every year so that you don't just submit a bunch of random self-tapes. Um, she asks you to include something like a piece of tape or a sticker or a button. She said the thing you must wear or show or write down on a paper and show in self -tape, every self-tape this May so I know you are not a cheater. Pumpkin eater is a bobby pen. It's just a bobby pen. That's super easy. Also, like, I would love to do more scenes from the office. And I also wanted to just have the scenes today so that I can get started tomorrow. I think I am making my life more difficult for no reason. I'm just getting very, like, flustered of, like, oh, I don't have my scenes today and May is tomorrow. But I have a scene that I want to do tomorrow. It's going to be a Janine scene from Abbott Elementary. There's so many other shows that I'm excited about and other scripts. So I'm not going to do all 
Abbott Elementary, or at least that's not my intention right now. If it ends up happening, cool. I have at least this one. I'm gonna start memorizing it um, and see if I can do it tomorrow. I'm definitely gonna go into my planner and write down which days I am going to be filming certain self tapes because then I'm also going to upload it to uh, Instagram and just have fun with it. I have my bobby pin because I am going to do a personality self tape because I was really trying to rush a scene today that I chose yesterday. It's pretty short, but I haven't even had the opportunity to have fun with it and do what I wanna do the self tape main, which is complete 16 tapes and have fun doing it and just getting back into the process. I do very well with habits, so I think if I continually have myself do all these self tapes um, after my nine to five, if I get a rhythm going, I know that I'm going to enjoy it so much and feel so proud of myself and get so much better in acting again because I feel so rusty. And what I'm gonna do today is a self tape. I've booked jobs through doing this through answering a question i just need to not put myself down and tell myself oh you're just lazy you just didn't prepare you just you know all of these negative things that i'm thinking i don't want to hear it me so i'm going to do a tape answering the question of what my favorite item that i have in my home currently is and it'll show a little bit about my personality and um my perspective in life let's do it let's do a self tape my first self tape a self tape may here's my pen and it's this sweater. It says, I cry a lot. First day of self tape May, if you wanna do self tape May too, don't feel pressured to do all of 16. Even though I feel very pressured to do all 16 because I really want to do all of it, um, but I'm going to go have dinner and work on my next scene for um, the week. Now it's time to do my second self tape and it is a scene from Abbott Elementary from the pilot wonderful sentence structure one of my biggest well one of my problems anyway and then it took me a little bit to get back into it um i just wasn't finding scripts that i was excited about a realization that i've had recently but really i've been feeling like this a lot is that when I am by myself or with like a non-actor, I get really in my head about like, oh, I'm acting. Sometimes when I put on my self-tape audition gear up, I get really in my head of like, okay, it's acting time, where if I'm just rehearsing and playing around and like sitting here, I feel more free, but I feel the best when I am just able to like, to really just get into the, the character and not think about what I'm doing really, just like saying the lines and feeling it. And that's why I like Meisner technique because to me that is a lot of what the Meisner technique is. It's like being realistic in, in what you're saying and feeling versus like, I have to accomplish this during this line, um, which is fine too, it works for people. But, but for me personally, I think that's the best. So I'm just going to play around with this monologue from uh, Bridesmaids and have fun with it right here. I think you're ready. Even though I didn't necessarily do a self tape that I would turn in for an actual audition, I'm still very happy that I'm telling myself, like, keep doing self tape May. Like, maybe we can still finish it, even though it's May 26th. Um, because I just spent the last hour playing around with a couple of scripts, one of which I've done before for fun on YouTube. And the other one is just, it just has like fun, chaotic, silly energy. And it was, it was fun playing around. Goal accomplished as far as um, what I had told myself that I just wanted to play around with scripts and have fun. And I just did that for an hour. I decided to revisit scripts that I've done in the past, but I was like, I can still do it. So I had done a monologue from, it's the Regina George monologue talking about Janice Ian. Um, and I did that one in college for the KCACTF, if you guys know those like college theater competitions, but um, that was like one of my monologues. I don't know why. I decided to translate it into Spanish. Porque estabas hablando con Janice Ian. 
I just got off of my nine to five job and I am so tired. I'm just debating whether I want to or have the energy to um, do some self tapes right now. And I feel like I should, I feel like I should try it because I know I'm gonna have fun. I know once I start doing it, I'm gonna have a lot more energy. I mean, just like a second ago, I was like, no, I'm just gonna go lay on the couch and drink water. But even just talking to the camera right now is already giving more, me more energy. I should try to do at least one self tape. I have a few fun scenes and um, monologues chosen for this. Maybe after I do one, I'm like, hey, this isn't so bad. Maybe I can do more. I mean, it's already up anyway. Well, self-tape May is over and I didn't post two of the self-tapes that I did. What I learned during the self-tape May and especially going through so much during self-tape May really was like feeding into my exhaustion of, of being stressed. I'm really happy because I've missed acting so much and I'm, I'm so ready to get back to work and do commercials, do... TV, film, whatever. In the last few days when I was reading script, watching TV shows to see, oh, what characters do I remember? Do I like? It was a lot of fun to find monologues or find scenes where I was like, oh yes, this in April and even at the beginning of May, I wasn't really finding things that I was excited about. So I wasn't going for it, you know? Once I was like, you know, it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna find things that I like and let's just enjoy it. That's when I started really like playing around with the scripts and um, memorizing them super easily and just having a really good time that I just would not, even though I was like, I really should give myself grace. I should take a break. Like what, who am I trying to prove? Like I still didn't give up because I was really just trying to get back into acting. And I'm, I was really just trying to have fun again with acting because I've taken about a six month break because my best friend passed from cancer and I just, I just didn't want to do it. I wanted to do mundane things like a day job, not have to feel so much, I guess. That's probably why, like, I was already feeling so much in 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 my everyday, like, non-artistic life that I was scared if I went onto a script and it had me, you know, feel more. I was, like, exhausted of feeling so much. But this self-tape me really has inspired me to get back into it, so... I'm gonna start up my Casting Network's Actors Access account again, start submitting and um, get back into it. At the end of last year, I had decided that I really didn't want to do like anything else other than theatrical work, but I changed my mind. This break that I took really taught me like, I like acting in pretty much every form. Uh, I am working collaboratively with filmmakers to create things. And that's really, really cool. But also it's fun to audition for these commercials and it's fun to be in commercials. So I changed my mind. I'm still gonna be auditioning for all kinds of work. And I did contact my agency and let them know that I wanted to start auditioning again. And within an hour, they sent me another audition. So I've already sent over my first audition in like six months. And speaking of MDT, cause it was MDT who I contacted, the winner of Self Tape May is actually also represented by MDT. Um, so that was pretty cool. And I messaged her and I was like, hey, we're both represented by MDT. Congratulations on winning Self Tape May. Um, I'm excited to hear her interview because Audrey usually um, does, if I'm assuming if the actor wants it, uh, they, they usually are invited to come onto the podcast. And I believe that they post that like the next season. I want to keep practicing, of course, because it's so much fun and it really gets me into it and I want to improve. To prepare for next year's self-tape May because next year, Audrey, next year I am doing 16 self-tapes. I am going throughout the year to choose scenes that I'm going to do next year for self-tape May. I'm not gonna like record them or anything, but I'm just gonna be like, oh, that would be a fun practice. Um, I do want to still practice on my own, so I have to find for that, but there's going to be other scenes that I'm like, okay, that I really want to work and practice and, and have a really good self-tape. A couple of Julys ago, though, I did do a self-tape every single day, so I know I can do it. And if you want to see that, there's, it's right here. It was the entire month of July.